Hey guys, it's Exelon. So back in May, I made a short video detailing the then-released translation tools for Dragon Quest X called Akmon and DQX Clarity. After I released the video, it was pretty much outdated immediately. And since then, the tools have gone through a variety of changes and big improvements as Sereny, the tool's creator, and everyone who works with him never seem to take a break. The biggest and most recent of which I will be going over in this video, detailing how to get your hands on it, how to install it, what to expect, and a bit more. Please note this is not a video on how to download, install, or set up Dragon Quest X. The Dragon Quest X Worldwide Discord community would be more than happy to help you with that, and I will link to them in the description. Moving right along, first, if you don't know what each tool does, I will quickly break them down for you. DQX Clarity translates menus, battle menus, AI recruitment menus, status pages, master orbs, emotes, and more. It also has an experimental setting that's going to date this video very, very fast, but more on that later. The Akmon, or AHKmon, is a tool that grabs the in-game text boxes as they are loaded and runs them through Deep L. It then gives them back in a simple overlay that can be customized to your liking. Be aware that the Akmon is machine translation and will have some oddities such as mixing up pronouns pretty much always. Moving on to installation, it's pretty easy to do. To get right down to it, the tool can be acquired from Sereny's GitHub page, and of course, I will have a link to it in the description. But before any of that, you need to make sure that you have Python installed. If you don't, Clarity won't run properly, and it's extra prone to crashing. Also note, while installing Python, make sure to check the box that says Add Python to Path, or Clarity won't work right. After that, just install and close. You will not need it open. Now, after you make sure you have Python installed and you've downloaded Clarity, open its zip file and go to the clarity.exe application and launch it. You will see some options with checkboxes that are pretty self-explanatory. Pull latest from Weblate pulls all the new translations Sereny and Co. are hard at work on, keeping the tool up to date. Translate player and translate NPC names are pretty self-explanatory. However, keep in mind this is a direct translation from Katakana to English, so sometimes it can look a little weird. As for the experimental translate dialogue, we'll get back to that in a few moments. The last thing you need to do is make either a free or paid account on DeepL. Once you've made the account, you'll need to put the API key that can be found on the account page into the box displayed. It will ask for a debit or credit card even on the free account, but I can assure you it is only for verification and it doesn't cost anything for a free account. The card on mine is actually expired and it still works. Also take note, if you are not using a paid DeepL account, Pro API needs to be unchecked. Now, once all of this is done, the fun stuff can actually begin. It's recommended that you start Clarity on the file select page after logging into DQX. Be careful not to click anywhere within the blue box while Clarity is booting or running, as all actions will be paused. You will need to click the top of the window to undo this. Once it's finished all of its processes, you will see a message somewhere in the box that says minimize and enjoy. You are now capable of doing just that. That said, we didn't talk about the experimental translate dialogue yet. This is basically the Akmon tool, but running inside of Clarity without the overlay. Just like before, it grabs text as it's loaded and runs it through DeepL. But now, it's inside the game's actual text box rather than an overlay. Again, this is going to date this video really fast, but this is currently experimental. Crashes are frequent, and it's still being tested. Also keep in mind, due to the added step of putting text into the in-game text box, you will see a small stutter as it loads text into the game. While this is only really present the first time you see any cutscene or text box, it is something to keep in mind. And with that, I hope you enjoy Clarity and DQX. And again, the Dragon Quest X Worldwide community would be more than happy to help with any questions and setup for Dragon Quest X. 
And if you like the sound of my voice, I do stream on twitch.tv slash excellentexcels. And with that said, you stay excellent, you internet weirdos.